Hello there, it's Trisha, and uh, we're here in Los Angeles doing some more Ask Trisha Questions and Answers. And so thank you all for sending in your questions on Twitter and Facebook and TrishaHelper.com. Um, I haven't read through them all, so it's going to be a surprise uh, each, each time I read one. But uh, again, thank you all for sending them in, and let's get right to them. Were there other actresses' performances that you used to help get Head Six's particular nuances? Um, not really, I don't think. Um, the only thing that I did prior, and Eddie Olmos, Edward James Olmos, Admiral, um, suggested to me was to watch Blade Runner. I'd never watched Blade Runner before. And that was probably the only sort of inspiration that I had for them um, is, is I like the fact that they were much more human than say the Terminator that type of thing I didn't want to be robotic at all and and so I think but I didn't I didn't try and copy uh, Sean Young or Daryl Hannah at all but but definitely the movie in itself and the way they hand the way the replicants as a group um, I probably pulled things from all of the replicants um, maybe even more from the blonde guy a little bit. You know, I think I, I worked more with, with the director, Michael Reimer, um, on Head Six, because that was the first six that we worked on. Um, more uh, just we developed it ourselves, and, and we wanted her to be very feline, and so that's why Six kind of drapes herself and moves, and, you know, more slowly, and, and uh, I have a lot of cats, so I, I can kind of know what cats do a little bit. and. Uh, so it was more of that, a mixture of things. But good question. Next page. Do you find it harder to play bad girl versus good girl or the other way around? Does one make you stretch your self acting wise? From Scott Roman Romanski. Um, I think, I think probably bad girl is easier to play for me. Or evil. Than, than good girl because in real life I'm a good person I think um, and I, I find more not so much on set but in the audition room uh, be, if I if I'm auditioning for somebody very much like myself I feel like I have to do something in the room and that's my own challenge of having to just realize that I don't have to do something because I am kind of the character um, so that's my own struggle and then when you're playing somebody evil or you know, something like that, it's easier in the audition room because you're, you have to be someone else. Um, so you don't, you are doing something, um, if that makes sense, uh, something different than yourself. Um, so that's my challenge is, is figuring out how to play uh, audition roles that are more like myself um, in, in the audition room and feeling just more comfortable just being instead of trying to do something. Even nowadays, a farmer has to be a doctor, veterinarian, plumber, mechanic, machinist, carpenter, a little bit of everything. Do you find yourself doing more stuff than the average person even though you don't live on a farm anymore? Thanks greatly. Post-industrial Glenn. I would say that I probably do to some extent. Um, I get lazy sometimes and just hire a handyman um, to do things or, you know, have a gardener or something like that. But yeah, there are things I do myself, like, you know, the painters didn't paint the bottom and top of the door when we renovated, so in the rains it swells. Who doesn't paint the bottom and top of the door? Anyway, it's an out exterior door. So I just planed it myself and restained, sanded it and restained it. To, and I patch holes in the walls and I do, you know, drywall spackle and I smashed a corner with a vacuum a couple months ago. It's, I stared at a crash, you know, smashed in one for too long and thought, just fix it, Trisha. So I went out and bought spackle and did it. So I can do a few things, but I'm not really too... Electronics I don't deal with. And um, engines I know a little bit. I usually know when my car broke down, I knew sort of what it was. I just didn't know how to fix it. But um, I can do the odd bit. Um, I used to fix farm machinery some, but more just did what my dad told me to do. So it's not that I'm that educated. Um, I can just follow orders. Finished the questions for today. Thank you all for sending them in. 
Uh, there were some great questions. And be sure to tune in on TrishaHuffer.com for the next installment of Ask Trisha. And you can continue to send your questions. We will compile them and we will be doing more questions and answers in the future. So be sure to tune in. And thank you all again. Big bye.